Tech is the New Black, where we give you all the latest in technology so you can stay ahead of the curve. Today we're here with Vice President of Managing Cloud Services, David Powell, and we're going to talk about music today, music and tech, and I know you're a huge mu music fan, and technology has really given us the ability to listen to more music than we ever have before. So what are some of the best apps for music? So I'm a huge Spotify guy. You okay. know, nothing wrong with Pandora, and it's amazing how you can enter in an artist and Pandora can really, you know, shape and find all these other songs that you may have not heard of before. But what I really like about Spotify is the fact that it has what they call curated content. So my friends can subscribe to my playlist, and when I add music to a playlist, you know, they get that. And then I can subscribe to other people's playlists and get new music that way. So it's a great way to find stuff and, you know, have to give a shout out to uh, Reg's Coffee House, you know, yeah. if you've missed that here in Birmingham, who's always a great tastemaker as it relates to music, there's a Reg's Coffee House playlist on Spotify, yeah. so you can go and listen to it and find out that way. And then the other big trend is around um, high quality um, music for audio files. Okay. So the kind of people that really love the high quality music, one of the problems you get in digital music is that the compression kind of takes some of the richness out. Right. And so now there's some services like Pono and some other ones that take the lossless music and push that out to where now you can get the high quality music streamed as opposed to this really compressed, you know, less rich um, music stream okay. across. So maybe for the average person, Spotify, but for the really intense music listener, Pono would be. Yeah, if, you, if you've got really high-end audio equipment, again, if you get the really high-end download, but you don't have high-end audio equipment, you're not going to track right. that. But if you're the hardcore kind of guy, there's lots of players now that are geared for that high-end audio stuff and tied into really nice speakers. Yeah. And now there's some streaming right. services that will give you that same level of, of uh, quality coming in. Okay. What about, what, what are we going to do with all those CDs we used to have? I mean, is there yeah. anything we can do about that? Yeah, so if you have all those old CDs, and believe me, I had tons, um, there's a service now called Murphy, okay. M-U-R-F-I-E, and on Murphy, you can ship them all of your old CDs in a box, and they will rip them up online, so now all of your old CDs you can stream online. Oh, they do it for a okay. dollar a CD, and they'll store your CDs, so if you ever want them back, you can call them and they'll send them back yeah. so you have that sense of nostalgia. But yeah. then if you want to download one of your old songs, you can download your own song. So you can listen to your CD collection online, or if you're like, ooh, I really want to go get that old song to add to my running mix, you can go download that one song that to you haven't listened to playlist. since college to your playlist, okay. so that's right. It is that's your really song cool. you're downloading. So gotcha. that's a great service you still have boxes of CDs. Yeah, that's really cool. What about radio? Is radio dead now? Or? Yeah, you know, it's, it's hard because, you know, lots of people don't listen to terrestrial radio that much other than like sports talk. And then on like Sirius or XM, you have all these very narrow defined channels. And right. the hard part right. of music right now is that you have these really fine defined channels and ultimately people's musical taste doesn't fit in these nice little categories. Sure. If you borrow everyone's iPhone and start looking through their playlist, you've got music all across the spectrum. But radio stations are you know, very narrow. We meet this market and this market and this market when most people's music taste doesn't go that way. So sure. they're looking for ways to be exposed to new music and online is the best way to do that. Sure, and people listen to different music for different occasions right. you know, as right. well. So I think that's why Spotify has been so popular. Oh yeah, very popular. Yeah. What about, is there, are there any other trends do you think coming out in music apps? Or do you think Spotify is kind of the limit? You know, there are always going to be something new, you know, coming out there and something kind of look down, down the road. But, you know, ultimately the easiest way to like introduce you to new music is what they want to find. Is that you used to just have to kind of get your song on a top 40 station and everyone would listen to it. Sure. And now, how do you reach the user community? And, you know, that's really where the innovation is going now is how do they find you know you and introduce you to songs you haven't heard before then get you to buy them and sure. ultimately whether it's pandora the radio station or spotify introducing you to new music and getting you to buy it is ultimately what they're all trying to do gotcha great information and for all of you that like music technix actually has a spotify channel so That's make right. sure you follow us and for more tech is new black subscribe to our youtube channel or follow us online at technix.com